9 Easy Steps to Feng Shui Your Living Room Space clearing is always an important step in creating good feng shui. The living room is especially important to space clear often because it's one of the more public areas of the home. There are different space clearing techniques you can use like smudging, diffusing essential oils, or ringing bells. A super easy way to clear your living room is to open up all the windows for a minimum of 9 minutes. 9 is the most auspicious number in feng shui. The truth of our modern times is that we have way too much stuff that accumulates in our spaces. All the clutter in our home mirrors the overwhelm, stress, and hectic busyness of our everyday lives. Overlay the Feng Shui Bagua energy map on your home to see which of the nine areas corresponds to the location of your living room. You can then use the qualities of this area to enhance the Feng Shui of your living room. An easy way to do this is to apply the color of the area. The five elements are a Taoist system that uses the cycles of nature to inform and balance our health and well-being. The five elements are earth, metal, water, wood, and fire. Feng Shui color theory and symbolism relates to the Bagua map as well as the five elements. Therefore, color is used in feng shui to enhance or support particular areas in your life. Since the living room is a space in the home that is shared, take careful consideration of the furniture. Make sure there's a comfortable seat for each member of the household. Each person in the home should feel welcome and accommodated. Living green plants bring life energy into your home. It's a super simple way to bring good feng shui into your living room. Be sure to provide enough light, space, water, and TLC. Art is a personal thing. As far as the feng shui of art in the living room, keep in mind these three points. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.